This is 2024 Trigger King RC Summer Series. Incredibly kicking off the 10th anniversary of the Trigger King Monster Truck Series and we've got a lot of big things coming. We've got a brand new facility. We've got veterans back on the track with new trucks. We've got new blood coming into the sport. New people, new identities. It's exciting. If you've joined us before, this time out you'll notice we are now racing inside a brand new facility, an indoor facility at Dreamfields Raceway. Super exciting. Big things happening with Trigger King Racing thanks to JB Scale Graphics. And we're going to get started right now with qualifying results. Our top qualifier, Doug Welker, Orange Outlaw, setting the pace in our first event. The top three, Orange Outlaw, Barefoot Racer, and Master of Disaster. A lot of the veteran names at the top of the charts, but it should be wild. It always is. We head into round one racing and kicking off the season. It's our top qualifier, Orange Outlaw, Doug Welker, facing off with the newcomer, Gunslinger, driven by Fred Kors. Fred off to an early lead, but here comes Welker back. Got a tricky in and out, back and forth track. A nice long track, a lot of space to uh, stretch their legs and for the race to ebb and flow as people gain ground and lose ground. But in this one, all the ground goes to Orange Outlaw. Up next, it's Originator Chris Blank. You'll notice an orange theme with his trucks throughout the season. And another newcomer, Overkill, driven by Michael Spurlock. We saw him a couple times last season in other classes, but as this hobby tends to go, he's expanded the fleet and he's out with a retro, bringing out an excellent new Overkill truck. And he is in the race, oh, neck and neck to the finish line. Almost taking out the veteran, but Originator Chris Blank narrowly moves on. An older driver, newer truck, King Ghidorah, Iron Aaron James in the near lane, and Orange Foot, another classic orange identity, one of the earliest from the Blank camp. King Ghidorah charging along the out straight outside straight away and looking pretty solid, taking the win with that brand new identity, rocking the old school Camaro look. Master of Disaster, number five, and Buffalo Trimmer, number 12, the classic 5-12 matchup, two old school rivals. Oh, and rivalry pressure showing right there. Full bore off the starting line. Parrish makes a mistake. Now, Tremor just has to cruise around the rest of the track. Master was charging, but still another mistake. Ends up costing the win, and Tremor moves on. Back to back, Parrish is back up on the line in the number two qualifying barefoot racer, facing off with Troy Haas from Colorado with the aptly named Mile High Crusher. Barefoot was second in overall season points last year. Definitely some upgrades to the truck over the off season, but this surface making things look clumsy. It's very loose out there on the track. And with some of those changes, I think Parrish is trying to adjust to the situation. So he'll need more to go on later. Right now it's Monster Orange 4. Bob Chandler, last year's season champion in a different truck against Barefoot, driven by Chris Hackinson out of the Chicagoland area, driving the Dodge Barefoot. Chandler wants a driver in the blank orange fleet and adding a truck back this year. He starts off strong with a win with Monster Orange 4. Now we bring the champion from last year back to the line. This is Bigfoot 7 in Bob C. Chandler, his championship truck facing off 
with Chris Hackinson and his Bigfoot One Retro. Two very different designs here. Hackinson struck in the far lane a short wheelbase clod and Chandler in the near lane a two inch stretch on a regulator with the Mean Duck extension kit and Bigfoot Seven takes the victory. Our final pair in round number one, Jeremy Mark, the number six qualifier in Taurus, and Rotten Ole Apple, Doug Welker, the number 11. It's neck and neck, a little Taurus bobble in the near lane, but he holds him on his hip and the bull moves on to round number two, where he'll have a tough matchup against Bigfoot Seven. But we're moving on to the top of the round number two bracket. This is Orange Outlaw, the number one qualifier, against the team owner, number eight, Orange and Nader, Chris Blank. This first turn's proving to be really crucial as the trucks have to get down off of that tabletop very quickly and pivot. It's proving very difficult, but Welker looking good in this near lane here. Blank's charging in the far lane, but that orange outlaw truck working really well today, and Welker moves to the semifinals. <laughs> King Ghidorah back on the line with Iron Aaron Janes and Buffalo Tremor, Jeremy Mark. Two short wheelbase trucks. One running rear steering in the near lane, no rear steer in the far lane on the regulator chassis. We'll see who it pays off for here. A little wide for Ghidorah, but still charging hard. Ghidorah flexing some kaiju muscle right there and looking strong all the way around the track. This could be one of Aaron James's best performances. This could be a breakout for him. On the line now, Barefoot Racer and Monster Orange 4. Two classic rivals at this point. Good friends, but great rivals. This could be a great race. They're neck and neck into the final straightaway. Oh, wow. That was close. I think we're going to have to take a look at none other than the TK replay. Neck and neck onto that final obstacle. They hit almost exactly the same time. Two different approaches vastly, but charging hard at the final obstacle. Barefoot a little outside, but on the ground first. Oh, wow. Barefoot straightens it out, and there you see it taking the win by half a tire. Barefoot Racer moves on to the semifinals. Our final round two pair, Bigfoot Seven and Taurus. Jeremy Mark, usually known for running the Taurus Two identity, uh, but due to a recent video production stunt, he is running the Taurus One on a limited basis here. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice to see that old identity back out. But right now, Chandler looking strong in Bigfoot 7. Mark tightened it up on the top end, but the win goes to Bigfoot 7 as he moves into a pairing in the semifinals with Barefoot Racer. Orange Outlaw number one still surviving and the tough looking King Ghidorah, Aaron James in the far lane. Good turns, two different approaches on that second obstacle. James all out of shape. Welker cruising around, trying not to make any mistakes. Oh, and then he makes one. Luckily, he did not catch a corner and roll the truck over, but Orange Outlaw moves to the final round. Who's he going to face? Our second semifinal pair, Barefoot Racer, and Bigfoot Seven. This is one and two in the points from last year. These guys are going to go at the throat. Barefoot off to the lead. Oh, but a wide turn for Barefoot. Bigfoot makes up the ground and Barefoot duffs the bus stop.
Chandler cruises easily into the final round. That sets up our first retro bracket championship for the 2024 season. Bigfoot 7, Bob C. Chandler, and Orange Outlaw, Doug Welker. Number one qualifier versus number three. Two regulator trucks with two very different approaches. One long wheelbase, one short wheelbase. One running Pro-Line shocks, one running very basic shocks. And it looks like the wind's going to go to the long wheelbase Bigfoot 7 with Chandler starting out the 2024 season much the way 2023 ended with victory and the points lead. After one bracket, you see the points there. We've got a whole lot of action to come. I expect the points to stay pretty tight throughout the season. We've got some great new drivers looking to mix things up, maybe be a part of the championship. We've got the, uh, the veterans that are usually at the top in here as well. We've got some experienced drivers rising. We'll see you next time, though. Thanks for joining us on TKRC TV.